Okay. Oh my gosh. So Wednesday, uh, very excited this morning, uh, but I want to share just a few things before we get started. Number one, gratitude is the single most important ingredient to living a successful and fulfilled life, Jack Canfield. So, you know, every time I go online to look at gratitude and to read gratitude, I, I seem to find the most successful people um, in business. I read articles, I read books. And one of the things that's always seems to be in the very beginning of every book or throughout a book is gratitude. And that doesn't mean that, um, you know, it's the whole book, but it just seems like every single person that has something to share, shares gratitude. It, it's a running theme in successful people. So that's why every day I like to remind us all to, uh, have gratitude in their life because I think the more and more we practice it and we and we kind of fulfill that promise to ourselves, um, it 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 breathes a lot of energy and good fortune into our life, and um, so it's good. Uh, I wanted to let everybody know that Jen Bailey put together these um, like cards that we can print out or we can uh, you know make them into little cards to give out with our samples i thought they were really great and very simple and really well done and jen bailey's a graphic artist and she does a great job so i put them on the page i put them on here and if you want them you know you can get a hold of jen bailey by facebook messenger or you can get them off our page but i just thought they were really really great and i wanted to share them with you um i wanted to quickly tell you and remind people that are in the southern california area uh, about some events coming up. Uh, this Thursday is the Real Results Party at the Viziris. And I really hope that if you are around, whether you have a guest or not, that you'll come and support the market party. We haven't had one in a while. And, and this is you know what it's all about, is just kind of getting back into that groove. And it's such a great place. And of course, it's always great to see the Viziris. Their, their clinic is amazing. And then we have a new regional that's popped up here in um, Thousand Oaks on April 7th. And as you can see, I'm going to be part of it. Dr. Vaziri is going to be talking about products. Ann Ford is going to be talking about mindset. And um, I'm going to just be talking about business and whatever comes to my mind. <laughs> but I do want to say this. We've already got a lot of people who have RSVP'd on our Eventbrite. And I'm really excited about that because a lot of people that, that – are, have already RSVP'd or people that I haven't seen in like a year, or I haven't really spoken to. And when I reached out to them, they were really excited to participate again. And they wanted a reason to participate. And it was because, you know, I reached out and I actually had an email, a text, a conversation, something like that. So I really encourage you, if you aren't in our area, uh, to please, in your own area, do the same thing and create some momentum there. And we're also going to be having a regional in the Orange County area um, on uh, April 14th. So keep those in mind. And then in Santa Barbara, which I love, um, we are going to be over there at the Aqua Skin and Nail Care doing kind of an RRP pop-up shop. And of course, everybody is welcome to, to participate, bring friends. It's April 2nd from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. And it's another way of uh, getting out there, having some fun, and spreading the joy of uh, Miriam and doing a little shopping, some spring cleaning shopping. So um, I wanted to uh, get on with our program today. You know, Trisha is somebody that I have really started to develop a friendship with over this mastermind. Um, I don't think we really knew each other that well before, but I've you know, been so appreciative in listening to her when she does um, share, and I've watched her over the years with Miriam, and I just am so grateful for any of you that want to share your story and just be part of the conversation, because I think it helps, you know, all of us to grow, and uh, I just couldn't be more thrilled to turn the to turn the uh, program over to you, Tricia. So take it away. Oh, thank you, Annie. Um, this mastermind has been such a blessing to me. And, you know, some mornings, um, you know, that I can't get on, I'm always watching the, you know, the replays, the YouTube. And um, so I really appreciate you doing that and keeping up with this. I know it's a lot of work, so I appreciate you. Um, I am in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And um, I, live, I live a little bit north of Atlanta. 
Um, I started with Nerium about five and a half years ago. And prior to Nerium, I had the very best job in the world, my dream job, um, something I always wanted to do and aspire to, which was to be a stay-at-home mom. And so I was, um, you know, just solely a stay-at-home mom, which is really honestly the hardest job in the world, <laughs> um, for 12 years before um, I was introduced to Miriam. And so I was super busy. I've got three kids. I'll show you some pictures in a minute, but um, was always involved in PTA. I was a PTA vice president for several years and always involved in sports and baseball and, you know, pretty much anything that was thrown at me um, that my kids were interested in, I was involved in. And, um, and uh, the, really, the, I heard about Nerium and learned about the product like a lot of people. Um, I had two friends that lived in my neighborhood. One of them had just started um, her Nerium business and the other one had just had a party for her. Okay, so I see on Facebook that these two friends, um, you know, are together at this party and I'm thinking to myself, oh Lordy, what on earth are they doing now? Because these two friends have done like multiple businesses, whether it's network marketing, corporate. One of them would talk to me on a probably a monthly basis about, you know, we should start up this and why don't we do this? And I just always like would put my hands in my head and go, uh-uh, you know, first of all, <laughs> some of the things were crazy. Um, second of all, I just knew that, you know, she wasn't the type that was going to stick and stay pretty much anywhere. So um, I was a little skeptical about it. But um, after one of them texted me and said, hey, I'm putting something in your mailbox. Um, I want you to use it, read the directions, use it and give me your feedback. Never actually even talked to her about it. So took the product out of my mailbox, took my pictures, used the product, I actually applied it wrong the first time. I didn't use water, so it was like peanut butter, but I still liked it. I loved the smell of it. I loved the way my skin felt the next day. So um, I used the product, um, and then about the third or fourth day, the other friend came to me and said, we need to do this business together. And I was like, oh no, I knew you were gonna ask me this. I just knew it, I knew it was coming. So I said, well, no, it's just, this is not for me, but I, I do really like the product. So if you join the business, you know, I'll be a customer of yours. And, um, you know, I don't know for how long, cause I'm a stay at home mom. There's really not a lot of extra income for me. So, but I definitely want one bottle. I want to try it and use it for a month. So, um, long story short, she was going through a bad divorce and somehow, some way she coaxed me into splitting a kit with her. So she, put in 250, I put in 250, we shared the kit. Um, she gave me three bottles, she took two. We named the website Trendy for Trisha and Mindy, and we were gonna do this business together, right? Um, I, in my mind, she was gonna do the business, I was gonna be her amener, okay? I was gonna say, amen, that product is awesome, amen. Mindy is on to something, I will be your cheerleader. But really didn't wanna do the business. Um, couple weeks later, I took my after picture and saw my two week picture. And I was like, holy cow, this stuff actually works. <laughs> I, I liked it, but I didn't actually think it was going to do anything. And I called her up and I said, well, first I sent her my picture. And I said, oh, uh, pretty much what Anna Camp says. I said, oh my, OMG, this stuff works. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, Mindy, this stuff actually works. And um, lo and behold, she wound up putting my picture on Facebook without telling me first. Um, didn't realize it was out there. But she, she said, oh, that's awesome. I said, did you take your picture? She said, no, I didn't take any pictures. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have my picture. And I said, you got to bring that kit back over. Let's, let's take a look at this kit because now I'm intrigued. So she brings the box over. We're sitting in my living room. I'm pulling stuff out of the kit. And I come up with the success planner, right, that starts talking about the Lexus. And I went, did you know there's a Lexus that you can earn? And she's like, yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna earn our Lexus and then you can have it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll take it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and we're gonna split this Lexus. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is definitely not a legitimate business if you know she's thinking she's getting this Lexus. So anyway, I start digging through the stuff and I start to see Jeff Olson's name and I start to see um, who I had heard about. I had actually read the Slide Edge prior to joining Miriam. 
Um, and I, I was like, wow, this is actually legit. And um, kind of jumped in um, with two feet after I went through the kit. And I said, Mindy, I said, this isn't going to work because if I'm doing this, I'm getting that Lexus. So I need to get a kit of my own. So I came in under her. Um, we bought a second kit and I came in and started working my business and um, was flying by the seat of my pants. You know, the company was only a year old at the time, didn't really know what was going on, but I dove into any information that I could get. I wanted to know everything about it. And, um, and I just started sharing it with all my friends. Um, ignorance on fire is what I was. I mean, I was just, just out there doing it. And, um, and went to my closest friends, went to people who, um, you know, that, that I knew, you know, maybe I had influence over or knew that would join me. And we just started having a blast and having parties and building a business. And, you know, I did earn um, my iPad in the second month. I, I fast start qualified. I earned my iPad. I earned my Lexus two days before Christmas of that year. So that was my Christmas present. And I've got to tell you, as a stay-at-home mom, earning a Lexus car bonus was off the charts amazing. I mean, I was driving a 10-year-old minivan, Kia Sedona minivan, that was falling apart. My husband had a 16-year-old Jeep Grand Cherokee, so there was no new car in my future. And, <laughs> and we, I was so, I mean, that car still, I just cherish it every day and I love it. Um, and I, you know, just started having fun and, and, and following the system, which at the time, I don't even think I understood what the system was because we were just running so hard and having so much fun. Um, but what I want to share with you today is really how to, um, talk to, you know, either prospects, uh, people on your team that are running their business, um, or looking to start a business with kids, with family, with small children at home, with lots of busy activities. And I love this mastermind because we all come from different backgrounds and I've learned so much from those of you who are in corporate America because it's been so long since I've been there. Um, and I'm Italian, so I talk with my hands, by the way. <laughs> but, um, you know, I felt like, you know, my kind of niche um, is, uh, you know, going through and teaching people how to kind of weave Miriam in their life when they have busy, you know, kids and you're kind of all over the place with carpool and all that, you know, kind of craziness. So I'm going to share my screen and I've got a little PowerPoint for you and I am praying that it works. Let's see. Hold on. Let me go back. Um, why am I not seeing it? It was right here. Hold on. Um, okay. Now let's go here, share my screen and okay. Do you see that Annie? Can you see it says mastermind meetup? Yeah. Yes, we can see it. Okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, I'm sorry. I was muted. I, yes, oh, I, <laughs> and I couldn't tell. I was like, she's not going like this, but I could see <laughs> your, your uh, mouth moving. Okay, so um, I put together, it's very simple. I'm not a technical, well, I want to be a technical genius, so I keep using those affirmations, um, but my children are technical geniuses. So last night I thought, I'm gonna kind of put this together myself and then I'm gonna show them and let them know that mom can do it too. So um, I'm gonna show you my, one of my first um, pictures that I took. This is probably like a year, into my business. It was the year that we came out with Live Happy and I had posted this of my kids. So this is probably four years ago and this is my why. And I remember posting it as my H-A-P-P -P, and then the picture as the why. And um, this was, um, you know, so fun for me to look back on and my kids were so little and we were, um, you know, so they were so always involved in my business, but these are my little whys. So Alex is my older son, my middle daughter is Bella, and Chloe is my little one. And here they are now. Let's see if I get this. 
So this is us at Christmas time. And this is my husband. We've been married for 20, almost 23 years. We've lived in Atlanta for 22 years. My son is now 16. Um, my daughter, Bella, is um, almost 14. And then my, my daughter, Chloe, is seven. She just turned seven. So um, I'm super busy with, you know, activities and everything, um, you know, with them and have been and will be at elementary school for a long time because Chloe's only in first grade. So what I wanted to kind of go over with you is, you know, Miriam and busy parents whether it's moms, dads, stay at home working, um, you know, why Miriam appeals to, you know, busy parents. And if you're on this, you know, Zoom and you have children that are school age, you know, hopefully you'll get some tips for yourself. Um, if you have people on your team that have kids that are school age, hopefully this is very, very helpful. But I want you to also think about, you know, those people that you're gonna meet in your cold market that are also busy parents. And sometimes people get a little intimidated because they're like, oh my gosh, that person is so busy with all these activities. How am I gonna teach them how to get this and weave this into their, into their you know, world? So one of the first things um, for busy, busy parents, especially um, moms, I believe, is that they're lacking in adult time. <laughs> I know I was, you know, Chloe was, um, she was, Gosh, um, she was about 18 months when I started with Miriam. So I, you know, everything revolved around my kids. And so adult time was really fun for me. I enjoyed being out at night and doing parties and going to conferences and being around adults. And that was one of the things that, you know, I was missing in my life. Um, contributing to, you know, our family income. I was pretty successful in corporate America. I was in um, communications and, you know, I, I was in wireless, you know, work for Sprint, work for PageNet, um, you know, was in sales and did very well. But for 12 years, you know, I wasn't contributing to the household income. So when I started doing that, that felt really good. Um, it was wonderful to do that. It allowed me to pay for sports and camps and activities and retreats that I would have had to say no to, you know, to my kids. And Miriam allowed me to start saying yes. And that's huge for a lot of people. Um, it allowed me to continue and has allowed me and will always allow me to, you know, to continue to stay home with my kids. Um, this morning, for instance, my middle schooler, um, Bella's in eighth grade and she had one of her real good friends, um, her birthday was today. So yesterday she was like, mom, can you take us to Starbucks this morning before school? I'm like, yeah, cause I don't have to rush off to an office like a lot of the other moms. So we spent some time at Starbucks. I dropped them off at school, came home and I'm able to do things like that. Um, and Miriam has allowed me incredible incentives. Okay. I mentioned the, you know, iPad bonus and you know, your fast start qualify bonus. Um, the Lexus trips. I mean, I've been on five vacations with Miriam, all expense paid that my husband and I um, could go on. And we hadn't gone on an adult trip. And I mean, since my son was born, Miriam was the first time we spent time together on an adult trip. Everything else revolved around the kids. So when you're talking to people, these are the things, you know, if they have been on one income, stay at home or even, um, you know, working and their corporate job is not allowing them these things, you know, the trips and the bonuses and all that stuff is huge. Um, tax benefits, the kids, the tax benefit products are, you know, tax benefit travel. I always try to incorporate Miriam business when I'm traveling, whether I'm going home to Fort Lauderdale or, you know, going um, on vacation for spring break, trying to incorporate things and, um, and sponsorships. Like I've actually been able to sponsor some of my kids activities and that money goes back into the money that I would have already been paying anyway. So my son is playing volleyball. He plays men's volleyball and Miriam is sponsoring him to play I would have had to pay that money out of pocket, might as well have a tax write off. And it doesn't always work like that. Certain sports work a little bit different than others, but um, for at gymnastics, my daughter's a gymnast and I was able to put up a big banner um, at the gym advertising Miriam and that money that I spent on the banner went back into paying off my tuition that I would have had to pay anyway. So you get the idea on that. 
Um, personal development. Oh my gosh. Personal development has been huge. And it was one of the things that I was lacking when um, my team grew and grew and grew, you know, very fast. I got to NMD in about 18 months. And, um, and I kind of went through a lot of, you know, our 10 core commitments, but the personal development, I knew it was important, but didn't do it consistently. And life has a way of slowing you down. And Jeff always says, you know, you got to <laughs> slow down to go fast. Well, you know, in my business and like others, we take, you know, sometimes you take a little bit of a step back. And when you do take that step back, or if you're going a little bit slower than you want to go, take the opportunity to really master all of the 10 core commitments, um, doing your personal development. And I know this mastermind is, I don't even have to tell you guys that because personal development is so important to all of us, but, you know, getting into the rhythm of um, being 10 core and then Miriam has allowed me to parent by example, showing my kids that they can do whatever they want. You know, they can be entrepreneurs, they can have options in life. And, um, and I think if I wasn't, you know, if I hadn't started my Miriam business, I don't think that they would have learned a lot um, about opportunities, you know, as they do now. Okay, so working with busy parents, um, here's some tips on, you know, when you're working with team members or new prospects, you know, meet them where they're at. Sometimes, you know, we want to, uh, we, you, we have high hopes for somebody and we're like, oh my gosh, you know, you'll be great at this and you want to kind of move them on a little bit faster than where, where they want to be. And what I found is with busy parents, you kind of want to meet them where they're at and teach them how to weave it into their lives. Um, you know, the products are for the entire family. I mean, really, honestly, we are so truly blessed with products that are so beneficial to your entire family. And when you have a brand partner that is, um, you know, the entire family is consuming the products, they're going to need to get their product for free. They're going to need to max out their 270 in, um, you know, in three year free credits. They're going to need to bring on new customers so they can get more free products. Um, with a family of five, I go through product like crazy. My teenagers use, you know, the face wash and Miriam AD, and now they love the um, Prolistic, and my, my son loves the day cream, and, you know, they're all on the wellness products, and my daughter, my little one, um, Chloe, has, there's, we've been through therapy. She's never eaten a fruit or vegetable in her life, and I used to worry on a daily basis how I was going to get nutrition in her. And I always gave her a whole food supplement, but now I have youth factor for her. And as I'm, you know, out there talking to parents, there's so many kids that are not getting the proper nutrition, even though their parents are banging their heads against the wall. So our products are for the entire family and um, get a snapshot of their day, have them go through their schedule with you. So you can see, you know, okay, you're in the carpool line, um, you know, this is when you can listen to this call, or, you know, this is when you can make a, a couple of calls out to your prospects and do your two a day. Show them where they can, you know, weave it in and out of their day. I think that is hugely helpful. Um, talk to everybody. Um, I would say, this is really funny, because I think this is how I came up with this training this week, is when Anna Camp was visiting last week or about, you know, almost two weeks ago, um, I had a party at my house and I introduced her to some new pros, you know, to friends of mine that had never been to a party of mine. And I had some, you know, some guests there and I had some brand partners there, but the, the theme was everybody that I introduced her to, I was connected by my kids activities. So by the end of the day, she's like, oh, let me guess. You guys are friends because of baseball. You guys are friends because of this. And it was, it became comical, but it really got me thinking that I've built my entire business by um, listening to people and being in situations where I'm, you know, making new friends um, at soccer or baseball or gymnastics or, you know, PTA meetings or, you know, whatever the case may be. But um, teaching your new brand partners just to listen. Uh, there's so many people who will tell you what they need if you're just open to listening to them. Um, add a Miriam signature to your email. I actually have a brand partner that joined my business because 
when I was doing a, um, an email out to the baseball team, she messaged me back and she said, you're an executive director of what? <laughs> and I had on there at the time I was an ED and I had it on my, um, on my email address and it opened up a conversation. I always put my, um, my website information there too. And I've had several people just from my emails that I do for um, either room mom or for different sports and stuff that has, you know, spark, spark some information uh, or some questions and led to me giving them some information. Uh, become a sponsor or place an ad in, in your school. Um, you know, if you have a newsletter or teacher, you know, teammates that have kids um, to look for these things. I actually once took, um, we had a program for gymnastics at the beginning of the season and um, a few years ago. So each home me, they would give out this program and I put an ad in the program and I had a woman who I'd never met. Her daughter was on a different level team, reach out to me and she joined my team. And this was probably three years ago. And she, you know, got to director. She stays at director. She loves the products um, or, you know, is, is working her business slowly, super happy being at director level and earning free products and earning extra money for gymnastics. But she, I, you know, I was introduced to her by the ad that I placed in, um, in that program. Wear your Nerium gear. Um, this is great for everybody. It doesn't matter, you know, um, where, where you're going, what you're doing. It always, you know, can start spark up a conversation. Um, keep any, um, busy parents that have small children plugged in during holidays um, and especially summer vacation. Um, having a big, you know, a, a big team of busy, uh, mostly stay-at-home moms when I first got started, it was super important for me to make the summers really fun so we can get together with, um, with our kids at the pool, at the park, and we all kind of did things together. So if you're looking, you know, to grow a team with um, stay-at-home moms or, you know, maybe some teachers that are home during the summer, really talk to them about, you know, things that they can do to make it fun for, you know, their new growing team. And, um, and then I wanted to show you this real quick. You know, because of Miriam, one of the things that I'm always talking to my son about, um, you know, is my business and how one day he's going to have a business. He's 16. Um, and I would love for him to get started with Miriam too. But I, I was so proud of him this past year. He actually started his own company and it's called ACV, Alex Caputo Videos. And I really truly believe it's because he sees me as an entrepreneur and I tell him all the time he can do anything. And he started a um, video production kind of company. So he does um, videos um, and editing for different events. He started with, you know, different um, sporting events and football and basketball and, you know, things like that for school. And then um, the elementary school a few weeks ago actually hired him to do a video for his, for, for their fun run and that they can use in future years for promotion. And, and the video came out fantastic. They paid him like $75 to do it. So he has a side business. He started merchandise and sold over, gosh, 150 shirts at school that say ACV and I've been helping him with stuff, but he is so, he's not afraid. He's not afraid of anything. And I'm so super proud of him, but I really believe that it's because of what I've learned through Miriam that it's trickled down and it's really helped him with confidence and, um, you know, starting something new and not having any fear. And then finally, here is, here are some of our team. And um, the best part about Miriam is, you know, the people that you meet and the people that are connected to you in one way or the other, like Annie and I, or our kind of our sidelines and, um, you know, came together, uh, you know, when Karen actually, Karen DeSantis Meyer introduced me to this mastermind. And so you never know um, what, um, what Miriam has in store for you, the people that their Miriam is going to bring into your life. But I so much love um, the family that we have here and that is second to none. And there's so many people who are looking for something good and to be surrounded by good, positive people. And, you know, that is absolutely what Miriam is all about. So 
Thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm so excited to share all that information. And I really hope that, you know, you guys um, can all find some nuggets in there. And if you ever need a three-way call with um, someone who is a busy parent, um, you know, I'd always be happy to help. So. Well, uh, Trisha, first of all, thank you so much for the training today. I know that it resonated with every single person on this Zoom. Um, but it, it and, and interestingly enough, the way you framed it was being a busy parent. But I really feel like it's being a busy person because yeah. I think that, you know, uh, honestly, every single thing on your list was something that relates to somebody somewhere in business. And I think what I loved about this training was it was a very clear view of when people say to me, well, what do you have to do? Or how does this work? Or how does this fit into my life? Or how do you do it? I think that your, your bullet points are like a perfect, literally a perfect scenario of how this does fit into a person's life in such an easy you know, way that you can kind of frame it any way you want. But it was just an amazing reminder of not only being a busy person, but what you can do to kind of integrate yourself into the business lives with your sports, with your, and by the way, you, you, you know, what your son is doing, let him know that my husband just did a loan for a guy who's like 27 years old and he started a YouTube channel just on lifestyle. And last year he made over $400,000. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. You know, that is no joke. Okay. So the fact that, you know, uh, your kids are watching you to create, you know, whatever it is that they want for themselves and their creative outlets. It, listen, hearing from everybody here, it's, it just gives you the, not only are we all the same in many aspects, but we're all so very different and our lifestyles are different, but the aspects of how to do Miriam or how to fit it into your life or how to coordinate all of those questions you put in such a great, um, a great way that it's it's easy to kind of share that and show somebody, hey, because I was I was just talking to Karen yesterday and Anna about how do you show somebody how to make five hundred dollars a month with Miriam or how do you show them how to fit this into your life? And I think that, that that today was just it was just meant to be on the Zoom today to kind of share how this all works. And so I really really appreciate it. So anybody have any comments or questions for Trisha? I do. Okay. Trisha, it's Lori. You absolutely crushed it, my friend. That was absolutely you, awesome. I'm sorry I had to be in my car, but no way was I going to miss it. And I'm so <laughs> glad I didn't. Way to go, Thank my friend. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. It was wonderful, Trisha. Thank really you. Really enjoyed it, Trisha. Good to see you. You are like, awesome. Uh, Thank I haven't you. seen you in Trisha. such a long time. I'm, I'm wearing the Oh, yes. <laughs> I went to my business meeting and I said, I'm changing lives. And they said, what? And I said, read the boobs. <laughs> Amazing training, Trisha. Thank you so much. I admire you for your busyness and I always say, God, if anyone can do it. <clears throat> Trisha, she, you're always busy. Every time I talk to you, you're either in the carpool line or sports or something. So I really admire you for just sharing uh, your heart today and giving us some great tips and everything. You've been an amazing mentor to me and an amazing friend. So thank you. Thank you. I, I have to add something too, Tricia. It's been such a joy to watch you grow and build your, not only your business, but your team. It is such a privilege, you guys, any of you who want to hang around a very positive group of women who have this amazing energy. They are all really good friends. They hang out together. They, they laugh, they cry, and they support. And it's been such a joy to watch this team go through the challenges with each other and you know when you have that synergy with each other you guys and this is what i love about what this opportunity offers is when you can really get into your team get into their families get into their world and when life happens when things go on you know above us you know it, it, they hang out together and they have each other and there's such strength 
in numbers. And so I really, I just want to applaud you because you've really created that, Tricia. And I just applaud you. Mm -hmm. And you know, the other thing what you guys do that I love to share is that when something's not going right, guys, they tweak it. They don't go, oh, this doesn't work. They tweak it. They really get together and go, okay, what can we do different? If this isn't working here, let's have it there. They really, really, I'm just, I just give you so much kudos for that. And thank you for the reminders of how to approach stay at home moms, uh, you know, and that is such a great point. You guys have such an advantage being in the schools. If I would do anything to be back in the schools, let me tell you. Thanks. So, um, yeah, so take advantage of that. So great job. Thanks. Thank you. Was this by chance? It wasn't recorded, was it? Like, if you want to listen to it again? Yes. As a matter of fact, we uh, were able to record this. So let's hope okay, it's all right. Not record, but how, how would we... I'm sorry. I mean, I saw it, but I just would like to listen to it again <laughs> as I'm holding towels right now. I'm going to download it onto YouTube and then I'll share it with Trisha um, uh, on her um, Facebook messenger or she can go on YouTube or anybody can go on YouTube under Annie Schwartz, but I'll give it to Trisha and she can share it with her group. Are you on the page? Hey, thanks so much. I'm on her, uh, Trisha's team and I'm, well, I uh, new, so I don't know anything, but I know she's awesome. <laughs> I'll get it to you, Jill. No worries. I'll get it to you. Thank you. Okay. Well, I can, can't thank you enough, Tricia. That was just amazing. Really appreciate it. I screenshotted all your stuff. So if you hear me talking about it, I'll okay. give you credit. Um, I, okay. Tomorrow we're going to go over uh, some stuff about closing out the month and how to look at the how to look at the back office reports and really dig into our group mm -hmm. line by line and how to um, help somebody get to where they want to go. I know we have some people on here running for Cancun, running for the promotions. And um, so I want to spend the last two days of uh, the week uh, talking about that. Bring your ideas on what you guys are up to in terms of closing out the month and we'll, we'll mastermind that together and tweak it and figure it out. And um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow and bring anybody that's, you know, trying to learn the back office in terms of how to get to the next level or how to read the 60, 40 rule or all of that other stuff so that, you know, we can work together to get everybody um, at that magical at that magical number to get somewhere for the end of the month. Okay. So Trisha, you're amazing. That was amazing. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. And um, I, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks, Thank Annie. you, Trisha. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Trisha. Thank you, Annie. Thank Bye. You, Trisha and Annie. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you.